initially the challenges that I faced here are uh, uh, with the school system. So sometimes people, uh, when he was not communicative enough, and then uh, we used to have so much of feedback from school, he's not doing that, and he's biting, he's pulling and every day for almost all his, uh, uh, through elementary, we used to have one complaint every day at least. We, we see even the teachers know that he is a special aid kid, and we used to enforce him by encourage him to talk instead of acting on your taking any physical action. So we also uh, encouraged him for some speech therapy, speech exercises, and all this stuff. Slowly, slowly he could better, uh, and then as soon as he become communicative, and all the things went on. The things he is in eleventh uh, grade now. And then um, uh, he's he's in resource room for most of the subjects, and he goes to regular class for a couple of subjects. Now, once he gets completes his uh, high school, that the uh, the real challenge will come in because uh, it's very expensive for uh, college study for a special need kid. There are very limited places where he can be put in, and uh, we are still trying our best to find out what what suits him, and then. The the goal is for us is not to have something attached to him, saying that he is a degree holder. Mm -hmm. But we want him to be able to lead his life independently, and we we want him to learn something from the college, not just to have earn a degree. I think I think we grew stronger than what makes us down over a period of time. Initially, we used to feel bad about it when somebody. stares at your son when you go to a public place but now it becomes pretty easy uh, easy for us